How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we react until we traveled back in time, now physicians. How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we react until we traveled back in time, now physicists are angry by in a nutshell. Alright, so to start things off, I have to mention, like, I love time travel, or the idea of time travel, I don't think it's real yet, but like, it's just like, it's so fascinating to me, because uh, in my opinion, the like, time travel and the butterfly effect are like, they go hand in hand, I almost said they're one and the same, but they do definitely go hand in hand, because it's like, what happens if you accidentally step on a butterfly in the past, and then it just changes the future dramatically, so like, the sense of like, unknowingness and like, what ifs and stuff, like the pondering, you know, like, number one thing I love science for, like, it's all there, it's all present, man, and like, it just, it literally boggles my mind every time I think about just time travel in general, so I'm really excited to see like, how their wackiness goes hand in hand with this video, you know, it should be very, very enjoyable so without any further ado here as we traveled back in time now physicists are angry you're going forward through time one second every second so technically that's time travel you're a time traveler hey <laughs> a bit lame but let's start here to get to the fun of real Whoa, dinosaurs i was wondering what that was and high five einstein oh let's go really <laughs> maybe not though passes, i don't want that kind of responsibility the direction you can move in there's with that theory the that time's actually a circle, so... With three spatial and one time dimensions... Oh, we're getting into it already. ...into a fancy thing we call space-time. Yeah. What you experience as time passing and your life happening is actually you moving through the time dimension. Because technically and time is man-made. is a bummer. While you can go forward, hey, backwards, Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> and right up and down in the space dimensions, in time, you can only go forward. You only get older. Well, I guess what I was talking younger. about was a theory. You can't make detours. That's fair. This is an illusion. You have oh, far more control over it is an illusion. Time. To explain oh my god. Works without got a little old, buddy. Video, we have to make a lot of physicists crumpy. So please keep in mind. <laughs> okay, I see where the second title comes from. A bit. Okay, so it's fun, a man. Strange Take over the great assault. That's what they usually say. Moves at the speed of light oh, let's go. Dimensional Do space a roll. Your speed through space time is the sum of your separate speeds through time and space. Oh man, this is gonna it's get wacky, ain't it? To stay still. Okay. Even if you're not moving through space dimensions, you're moving through the time dimension, blasting face oh. first into the future. <laughs> oh, you you're already boggling my brain, man. By moving faster through the space dimensions, but in total, you will always move at the speed of light through space time. It's like if you could borderline 4D stuff, man. Space, you'd still move through time at the oh. speed of light. <laughs> And the other way round. <laughs> Photons, light particles. Move Thank you for giving me like the space. graph, though. They don't experience any time passing because their speed in that time dimension is zero. In the time dimension, they're frozen in place. Oh. If you see light on Earth, literally from never thought of that. Perspective, it was just on the surface of the sun and then suddenly crashed into your eye <laughs> with nothing happening in between. Oh man! <laughs> Remember, we're telling a science story here. In real life, oh, I love this, man! For one, Splashes of humor, more so than their normal videos. To space itself. You can only be standing still relative to other things in Whee! space. And you can't really define it's a like, just take a step back as we just did. the scale of what we actually are. But now, back to our story. 100% okay, so of it. Everything in oh, the nah, universe nah. moves at the same breathtaking speed, but this speed is split between space and time. Which leads to all sorts of wacky things, and where we can see They said the word, not me. <laughs> real and easy time travel. Okay. When a bus Bill and drives Ted? past you, it's moving a little bit faster through space than you are. So it moves oh, so many references. You, or how it's usually worded, the bus is moving slower through time relative to you. <laughs> oh my God, While man! This makes things feel like weird physics magic. Yeah, like a little bit. Move faster through space. Go slow. Oh, give me the bite size. Move slower through space. Go faster in time. And if you had another person moving way faster or slower than you, both end up traveling different <laughs> the distances. Music's not helping the with the wackiness. The story that's usually told to demonstrate oh, this that's is adorable. to get twins, force one of them into a rocket against I'm sorry. Belt, shoot them through space super fast. Yeah, I heard about that. Chills on Earth. Like astronauts in space and like age differently. Very fast through space, while the other moves or the Buzz Lightyear Earth, movie. Move at different speeds. I think that's literally what they're doing. The rocket finally gets home, they're no longer the same age, and the younger space twin is ready to start oh. years of therapy for being abducted by theoretical physicists. Yeah. This is the twin paradox, and it makes perfect sense within the rules of the universe. Oh, but it's still so wacky. Hey. Video about it. But in a nutshell, 
you're using time dilation. In a nutshell. The fact that your position in time is subjective and only true for yourself. Oh. With sufficiently fast rockets. Yes, that is true. Everybody experiences things differently. <laughs> Technically, this way you can witness the end of the universe or look at the oh. final thing that will ever happen. And then we just go back. <laughs> videos about that. We should mention that there's oh, a man. Way to jump forward in time. Not just references to pop culture, but references to their own videos. Time to go slower near them. On Earth, the effect is tiny. The gravity of our planet makes time pass. Oh, 0. show me something big. You no, know, I love that scale. Zero, 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 seven percent slower ah. than in deep space. I was waiting for a different number. Any gravitational fields, hardly useful for time travel, but it's a start. If you move into a really strong gravitational field, still there. Field, oh, like black hole got it. Coal, the closer you get to the event horizon, the slower time passes for you. If we oh, that's got to be trippy to experience, all, man. Their watch ticks as fast as it always does. But from the outside, they seem to almost stand still. Only when the twin leaves the gravitational field. I guess the Lightyear movie was on it, man. They time traveled. It's a great okay, example. So you can time travel to the future by going fast or near a black hole. Yeah, this what about going backwards? And has literally only downsides, except for people who want to sort of teleport into the future. Oh no! <laughs> and it makes building a gigantic it's always apocalyptic. space empire super hard because even if we develop the technology to go really super fast between stars, going on a faraway journey oh. will always mean leaving your home as you knew it forever. That's kind of sad. No like you said, this is just sad. There's a way we could use the rules of our universe to travel backwards through time. The past is a faraway land. Let's go there. Oh, let's. So you oh my god. Move through space time at the speed of light. If you go fast through the space dimension, you slow down in the time dimension. And here we find an actual opening for backwards time travel. The theory of relativity, which may be oh. the most solid scientific theory we know, yeah, it is a bit faster. Arguably the most popular space. If you move through the space dimension faster than the speed of light, superluminal, you need to move oh. through the time dimension with negative. That's super in front of anything. I'm on that board. Means you go backwards through time relative to the rest of the universe into the past. Oh, that's so true. Actually, scientists have been looking for superluminal particles and given them a name, tachyons. Oh, they could exist Love it. and would have wild properties. Like I do like the scientific way of naming energy, things. And of course, traveling backwards in time. Finally. That's so travel. crazy, man. Just like with he photons, explained it, but it still, I'm like, uh. <laughs> define how time passes for tachyons themselves. It depends on how you move through space time relative to them. But now, for the first time, some observers could actually see tachyons literally traveling backwards in time. Again, so imagine seeing that, witnessing it with past. your own eyes. Oh. In theory, you could use them to send messages to your Run. past <laughs> self and change all sorts of things that have already happened. Yeah. Maybe with some or switch spots, maybe, huh? Future tech, You're you into that. You star die before it was born. Meet your great-grandparents. Prevent your past self from making that one dumb mistake. Win the lottery, or get eaten <laughs> by dinosaurs. Uh, maybe and not the last one? Juicy time paradoxes. I was about to say, man. How many paradoxes are you making? Oh, what's that? I think it's the physical. <laughs> right. Hmm. Let's just shut that door. In our universe that are impossible to make. Man, I'm having a great time with this video. I don't care if it's fake. Relativity, or fake a story. Anything that starts out traveling slower than the speed of light to reach the speed of light. Yeah. Because moving faster through space requires energy, and the that's energy an understatement. The speed of light going faster than the speed of light. Even I can't even process the that. Of the universe, you couldn't accelerate a grain of sand to the speed of light. You can get as close as you like, but you can never reach it. It is possible to move at the speed of light as photons do, but they always oh. move at the speed of light. That's what if happened in Lightyear. Superluminally, you will always move superluminally. And sadly, so far, we don't have the tiniest bit of evidence that photons <laughs> exist. While they work on paper, most scientists think they're not real. That's another thing that so boggles my mind with science. It's like it could happen, is strictly impossible, but we don't have proof no yet. How hard we try. The past is a faraway land. That's and very true. In pictures and movies and our memories, it's locked away. Forever outside of our reach. Okay, getting a little well, depressing. <laughs> sad, it leaves you with the most important time there is. Right now. Now, the yeah. Where you actually That's why, man, enjoy the present, the future, dude. That's yours to forge. If and you the want, future. You could even time travel to it. Uh -huh. <laughs>
Oh, that was glorious, man. I Looking love everything about it. The future Advertisement, let's go. It's easier than trying to change the past. <laughs> With the right knowledge and problem Literally the memes. Skills, you'll be ready for whatever obstacles or opportunities. You just need a DeLorean and go 88 miles an hour. Friends at Brilliant come in. Hey, Brilliant again another Brilliant. Better thinker and problem solver with thousands of interactive bite-sized lessons. I said it once, I'm going to say it again, man. Every single one of their sponsors is great. To it's probably why they pick them. And beyond. You can build real knowledge in just minutes a day. A terrific use of your precious present moments. <laughs> I was wondering if they were tied into the video. By trying things yourself. Their course on scientific thinking, for example, gets you hands on with fascinating questions like the ones in this video. I really and need to try them out. The course is like an immersive workshop. You'll gain knowledge of key concepts while building. That's your actually, intuition. I really like that game, the Helping bridge building game. To think like a scientist. I think it's a portal. Kurzgesagt has also partnered with Brilliant to create a series. Got of their own courses. Scientific knowledge to the next level. Beautiful. Each one is like a one-on-one -on -one version of a Kurzgesagt video. I love it when like two things I love coexist together. Like just like mash their brains the together and make something great. Climate science and supernovae. And you can get started whenever, wherever, right oh, for yes. whatever device you'd like. I was about to say every device. <laughs> I've seen this part of the ad, I don't know how many times, man. Offer, from AI and programming to math, science and beyond. Maybe the programming part. I'm starting not to like AI at all. Thanks to rational animations. <laughs> an extra perk for Kurzgesagt viewers. Anyone signing up through our link will get 20% off an annual Thank you imagine if you didn't wait. And they get fifty percent off. Oh. The laws of the universe. Let's go. go on a truly <laughs> breathtaking time travel adventure. Why are they still are angry? Ready? It's over. Well, too bad. Oh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Look, oh. it's the human era. Twelve thousand years of human innovation brought to life. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely. Even though, if you look at like the grand scheme of things, that's like a tiny fracture of the actual today. timeline. But let's go back even further and take a look at the timeline of life. Hey, that's what I was talking about. Tiny blip at this scale. Mammals haven't been around for long either. Here's the age of the dinosaurs. Yes. And going further back, we can go see in the where ocean. It all began. You can now go on your very own time travel adventure. Oh my God, that's beautiful. History I think this is the first time I've seen this. Life posters. Hey. They're expert approved. I kind of like the with great humanity care. one. Human get history, I should say. To get the full time travel effect and to support everything we do. Go on back this to channel. the video. I love that, man. Hey, that was right on at that time. <laughs> All right, so I love how I used the word wacky in the intro, and this essentially was a wacky video. Like, it wasn't really, like, grounded with knowledge and stuff like that because he stated at the very beginning of it, you know? Like, this is essentially a story. Like, essentially all the things are there to, like, make it possible, but we don't have proof that it's actually there yet. And the key word is yet, man, because that's what I love about science. I know I'm a broken record at this point being freaking the last week of science month, but, like, it's just, it fascinates me so freaking much just to, like, sit down and just think about these for, like, these topics for hours, man. Like, I could literally sit there and talk about time travel and now, like, I have an extra layer of, like, umpage to talk about time travel. Because, like, you add the freaking, I don't even remember what it's called, but, like, faster than the speed of light, man. Like, that's in its of itself. It's, like, it's still boggling scientists. You know, like he stated, like, it, we're just trying to figure out if these things actually exist. Because, like, all the signs are there to make it possible. But it's still, it's so freaking cool. I love this so much. Like, this topic always fascinates me. And, like, it, it literally, like, just for lack of a better word, like, the boggling my brain like it always goes back to that man and like this subject like talking about the butterfly effect and time travel like as a whole you know like that's the number one thing I ponder all the time because I'm like okay well maybe because I forgot something at home I didn't get into a serious car accident or something like there is just no way of knowing unless it's just like he was saying we were able to go back in time because we're freaking faster than light like it's so freaking wacky and crazy and I'm not gonna sit here and like try to explain everything that I listened to in the video because like that's it's still like raggling in my brain man like it's just the fact that like we get videos like this you know that's like okay well let's not talk about the real stuff per se but like it's still it could be like it, it's theories for a reason and like going back to like Albert Einstein and stuff like that like his stuff were theories at one time and then like he was able to prove them later on down the road or someone else stu stepped in and like proved something that he talked about like just as a theory like we have no idea that this stuff could actually be feasible and we also don't know that it's just make-believe like it, it's just it's so cool it's so cool and i'm gonna stop babbling but i cannot get enough of these types of subjects man and like here lately the i know i'm going backwards but like the kurt's get videos here lately have been like phenomenal man they're definitely pushing like 
personal subjects that I really, really love or that I've gone through in my life. You know, it's just, they're, I always say they're doing God's work, man. And that's definitely an understatement. Like it is so freaking awesome what they're doing. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Leave a like down below, subscribe, ring the bell, become a member. You get videos a day early and check out the merch. So with that said, I have been Master Zero. You guys have been fantastic and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Later days.